On peut être Veuillez vous asseoir. Reprise de l'audience. The court is back in session. La chambre va se prononcer sur la is going to rule requête on de l'accusation the, uh, request from the prosecution qui a été formulée which was il y a un instant. Formulated a little while la ago. chambre the chambre Grants an accusation. extra session to et the prosecution les principaux and les to the co-lead lawyers of the civil parties et que les parties doivent poser des questions euh, à l'intérieur de, de la portée du And of the parties will have to put questions that fall within the scope of case 002-02. En cas d'objection, d'objection in, concrète, la Chambre in the of any va se prononcer objection, au cas par cas. The chamber will rule on a case per case vous basis. pouvez poursuivre. Prosecution, you may continue. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, let me quickly uh, follow Merci, up Monsieur on. Le Um, Monsieur le témoin, the answer that you gave just before the break regarding the 60 people who had been implicated. Um, you indicated that these people were eventually released and that they are still alive. Uh, can you give us the names and locations of some of these 60 people? Réponse. À propos de ces 60 personnes, Regarding these 60 people, il s'agissait des gens qui habitaient these dans were la coopérative who were living de la commune in de Tiangtong. Cooperative of Tiangtong Commune. Euh, j'étais basé I was sur based les informations qui m'ont été correct interpreter I parce qu'il était basé based myself on information transmitted to me by cette commune who, because Je he was based in this commune d'un certain I qui, only remember a surname Chi était à côté de la pagode de Tia, je ne sais pas si il pagoda. est toujours I don't know if he en is vie. Still alive. Et les autres euh, habitaient à, par de, à partir de, du village de Kbal-O. Et les autres vivaient dans Kbal-O village. Et c'était des gens qui euh, menaient these la lutte were secrète. Ce sont des gens qui étaient en secret struggle. Je tiens à vous préciser And que j'ai appris would like to cette information par Boon. C'était un endroit de lutte secrète. This was a place uh, where people were waging a secret struggle. Ils travaillaient là. Ils They were working there. Leur vie They were earning their là. living there. Et ils étaient uh, And en they connexion avec des gens qui étaient en ville, uh, donc des gens de, city, uh, du temps de Hunim, Huyun, uh, de Pol Pot, et Tamok Huyung était à l'extérieur de ce réseau de lutte. Il Tamok était à l'extérieur de ce réseau de lutte. provinces. Quand il, euh, quand, euh, Hu Nim Hu Yun And when Hu Nim Hu Yun were arrested, notre réseau les a cachés au village, dans le village de Kabal O. Et c'était Moon, la personne chargée de cacher. Et was in charge of hiding them. Et euh, au moment de la de l'arrestation de Si, when Si was arrested. Euh, 
ces uh, villageois, ces 60 villageois ont été remis en cause were et questioned uh, alors que, que qu'ils qu faisaient partie du réseau Khmer Rouge, they were et, part of the Khmer Rouge uh, network ils ont été calomniés d'être euh, d'appartenir au réseau vietnamien. Belonging to the Vietnamese network. And I learned all of this through Boon. Et je recevais euh, ces habitants aux fins de rééducation. Oh, through the village of Boon, and I would receive uh, it, the people from Boon euh, to reeducate them. Impossible que euh, qu'ils nous trahissent, donc They could nous, not betray us. nous étions, um, nous les recevions so à, à bras ouverts we would parce them with que open arms euh, ils n'étaient pas des mauvais éléments, they were not bad elements. ils euh, ne faisaient que euh, they travailler would, la terre et just, uh, gagner leur vie earn their living de and, uh, façon honnête. Or in an honest way. That's all I can tell you. A couple of just very quick questions, and I'll let others follow up on that. This incident in which 60 people were implicated and you followed up, uh, did this take place during the time you were in Tramcock District, that is between April 1975 and February 1977? Uh, yes or no? Oui ou non? Réponse. Answer. C'était avant cette période. It was before that period. On a ré résolu ce problème We avant cette période. We solved that problem en fait, before that period. Ce problème est In fact, this problem occurred si, only after Caesar's uh, arrest. Uh, je ne sais pas à quel moment I don't si know a exactly when C was arrested because I was not aware of Et everything. Vous pouvez And aussi. you can maybe tell me yourself, On in fact, I was simply si told avait, avait that was C arrêté. had been arrested. Après son arrestation, And after his uh, arrest, à l'égard des Many people euh, gens de, du village de Kbal O in qui Kbal était were notre denounced. réseau. And voilà they belong to our network. This is all I knew. That's why I asked you if this took place while you were in Tramcock, Mr. Witness. We, we know from S21 records that Chu Chet alias C was arrested in March 1978. Um, would I be correct then that if this took place while you were, you were in the central zone in March 1978, So uh, these 60 people uh, could not have been implicated by Chu Chet if he was only arrested in 1978. Is, is that correct? Human rights. I'm not sure of that. Vous informer de tout, de vous renseigner vous-même. Je vous ai raconté les faits euh, qui étaient à ma portée. I'm just talking to you about the facts that I was aware of. On était à l'école du parti We were at the party à, à school in Trapiantnol. Boone a soulevé, Boone. A soulevé la question et elle avait peur. Raised the question. Elle She was afraid. Elle a remis le travail. Elle euh, ne She pouvait pas euh, affirmer que ces 60 personnes étaient pas des sure traîtres et elle m'a demandé de euh, la soutenir. To support her. Donc je ne peux pas so, I cannot à quel mois ces 60 personnes ont été arrêtées. Mais en tout cas, c'était avant mon départ pour Kompong Cham. I left for Kompong Cham. And before I move on to that issue, question, avant de à let cette me just question, um, mention one name to you. Un nom. Um, uh, there was one significant 
uh, southwest zone cadre who was arrested before February 1977, 1977 uh, whose name was Achar Kong. He was the southwest zone hospital chairman and a member of the zone committee. Do you remember Achar Kong? Le Président, President, um, Monsieur le témoin, veuillez witness, répondre à la question, parce que tout à l'heure, le microphone n'était pas encore opérationnel, just before that, et donc the les parties ne pouvaient pas vous so entendre, the parties could ni not hear les interprètes. You, and neither could the interpreters. Réponse, Answer, je no, ne le connais pas. I do not know him. Let me move on now to um, the period that you moved um, from Tram Kok uh, to Kampong Cham. And what I want to focus on uh, is uh, a meeting uh, that you described in interview E319.1.18. E319.1.18 at answers 60 through 65. Um, you were describing here your trip from Tram to uh, Camp on Cham. Uh, you described how you stopped one day in Phnom Penh, and you described a meeting of high-ranking party leaders that you went to. Uh, you stated that the meeting lasted approximately one hour or more and covered many issues, and that there were approximately 50 to 60 participants. Can you please tell the chamber who the high-ranking party members were uh, who attended this meeting in Phnom Penh? Celui qui présidait la réunion était Pol Pot, was Pol Pot Tamok. And there was also Tamok. Tamok qui était présent également. Tamok was also present. Ainsi que Kepok. As well as Kepok. Sai, euh, Sai too. avait emmené des forces Sai là-bas. had brought some Durant, euh, there. Lors de cette réunion, il a été uh, décidé d'un certain nombre d'objectifs. Un certain nombre d'objectifs uh, euh, étaient chargés de euh, was in charge of, um, transmettre des informations euh, à tous les districts. The information to the entire district. Des communes également. And to the communes as well. Je n'étais pas sûr I was not euh, du nombre sure exact, mais of ils the étaient exact environ 50 number of people there. personnes. I think there were about 50 people maybe. Disons qu'ils qu étaient euh, 50, donc les Let's say 50. Euh, yes. personnalités importantes ainsi que les subalternes. So there were important figures as well confondus. as uh, subordinates together. Euh, Sai alias Chap, Sai, alias Chap il participait également, also attended il n'y avait the meeting. pas de session de rééducation, c'était no seulement re session. Euh, It un was moment où euh, certaines instructions a ont été mises certain orders were given afin d'organiser euh, le secteur parce qu'il y avait des gens qui se sont enfuis dans la forêt donc il fallait restructurer, forest, so euh, restructurer we, we had to le secteur the, afin d'éviter euh, euh, le régionalisme to de, avoid regionalism euh, and, um, et le 
éviter le fait que c'est to toujours soi-même soi uh, soi qui a raison. Et il ne fallait pas Everybody faire trying de discrimination to be a boss entre and, um, les cadres. And voilà, we had to make sure that there was no discrimination um, against the cadres. Durant All of this is what réunion. was discussed during that meeting. Uh, le lendemain, the next Poc day, Cape Poc Poc dormir, went uh, to nuit, spend two nights uh, Kampong Cham. in Kampong Cham. Uh, durant la première nuit, and during the first night, he summons une, uh, people uh, conference to a uh, uh, conference a during which he informed them of the situation. Donc les cadres so des districts, the district cadres, uh, ainsi que les cadres as des well communes as the commune cadres, venus, came uh, à la réunion to this meeting où il a euh, conféré euh, la responsabilité de, de, gave des stricts à ce moment-là même. Et, et après, someone, il m'a envoyé and then he au, sent à la plantation des verres. To the rubber plantation. Euh, plus tard, il est allé me voir to see me. Euh, et à ce moment-là, j'ai euh, structuré le, le travail donc, euh, en distribuant des tâches à des cadres tasks de, euh, là où euh, j'ai été envoyé ou affecté. Different uh, cadres where I had been sent to. Thank you for that response, um, Mr. Witness. Question, merci um, beaucoup pour votre If I can réponse, ask you to, to do your best for the remainder of the day um, to focus on answering my questions. Um, I, I, I wish I had hours uh, to talk to you um, because your uh, information is, is fascinating to me, um, but I have a little time. So uh, if you do your best to, to respond to my specific questions, we'll get through this quicker. Um, in regards to the people who were present, uh, was Nun Chea present at this meeting? Réponse, je ne m'en souviens pas. Je n'ose pas dire s'il était présent ou non. Parce que je ne m'en souviens pas. Et en tout cas, que s'en parle. Que son pont was not present. Let me refresh your recollection, Mr. Witness, with what you told OCIJ at E319.1.18 at answer 60. Uh, when you were asked who attended this meeting, this is what you said. The high-ranking people included Pol Pot, Tamok, Nun Chea, Kai Pak, Son Sen, and there were also other intellectuals such as Chun Chun, Minister of Health, and Chun Mum. End of quote. Does that refresh your recollection? Uh, Mr. Witness, that the people present at this meeting also included Noon Chea and Son Sen and some intellectuals. I could, uh, that was all I could uh, recollect. When à I was young, ma uh, my memory was uh, very good, but uh, uh, now I am at this age, uh, I am forgetful, becoming uh, ma more forgetful, and that was all I could recollect. Now, in regards to Q Sampan, you were asked in the interview if he was at the meeting. Your response was, I am not sure. Um, I want to read to you an excerpt um, from an interview of one of the other cadres from the Southwest uh, who traveled with your group uh, to the Central Zone, worked for a woman named Yut, um, and in interview 319 slash 21.3.51 at answer 36, she gave the following testimony, quote, we stayed one night in Phnom Penh on the campus of a university whose name I do not remember. Ute 
and the other ten cadres attended a meeting with Tamak and Kusampan. I know that because Tamak came to pick them up for the meeting by car and they returned that night. Ute told me in person that Kusampan would come to perform an inauguration for us the next morning. End of quote. Does any of that refresh your recollection about whether Q Sampan was at this meeting uh, or whether you saw him at any time while you were in Phnom Penh on your way to Kampancham? At that time, uh, it was a brief uh, moment and there were many people coming and I do not recall. Uh, I could uh, recognize some faces, uh, but I did not know others and some just came uh, briefly. Uh, I was not quite sure on this, on this point. I apologize. Uh, thank you for clarifying that. Um, where did this meeting take place? Tool Presley School in the morning. And when uh, we got uh, there, it was uh, in the evening, so I took uh, the night rest over there. Uh, Sai uh, stayed uh, uh, inside uh, the room uh, for the meeting. And as for the planning, Tamok, Sai and, and others uh, were there to receive the uh, planning. And uh, they came out of the meeting and then they gave us a bit of an instructions and then they left. And those who were in the meeting, the combatants, uh, male and female, uh, we were all there and we listened to that uh, instruction. And then uh, the truck uh, came to pick us up all the way uh, to Kumpung Cham province. At Kumpung Cham, uh, Pok uh, organized the, uh, the trip for us, and he was based there, so uh, he organized uh, the meeting for us, and then he would uh, convene a meeting at that time uh, to give the uh, direction, and afterward uh, we uh, simply went to uh, undertake our respective task. Okay. Uh, trying to focus at this time just on the meeting in Phnom Penh. Um, which leaders, uh, which of the high-ranking leaders spoke at this meeting? At the meeting, uh, there was only one person there were around 10 people uh, coming, but only one person uh, spoke, and other were simply came to accompany him. Uh, only Pol Pot uh, spoke uh, at that uh, meeting. And uh, he simply said that there were uh, betrayers, uh, uh, there were betrayers and other enemies uh, coming into the forest, so we had to go and uh, uh, find them and that the party has already given us the task so we had to accomplish uh, the task assigned uh, that was the uh, direction let me just read a, a short excerpt from your interview uh, this is again e319.1.18 at answer 64 through answer 65 quote during the meeting Pol Pot said about betrayal in the zones, and it was also written on blackboards. Pol Pot did not use the word purges. He said that this zone is traitorous. I assign you, comrade, to go. You are my right-hand man. Deal with it. Can you do it? End of quote. Um, 
you said that there was something written on the blackboard at this meeting. What do you remember being written on the blackboard? D'après vos souvenirs, qu'est-ce qui était écrit au tableau? He wrote uh, several bullet points uh, of directions at that time, to my recollection, there were only uh, a few bullet points. The first uh, bullet point was to control the situation, uh, second was to uh, delegate the task and assign the task in order to accomplish the goal. And the third one is not to uh, be too out uh, of ourselves, not to be arrogant, not to overpraise ourselves, and uh, we do not have to uh, have the individualist uh, perspective. In other words, uh, we do not have to mind that we are from this zone and from that zone. We have to work together. So that was a brief meeting. It was very brief indeed, and it was only to give the direction. Did Pol Pot during this meeting talk about Poi Tun, the former chairman of the North Zone? Let me try to recollect. He made mention a few people, but I, I do not uh, recollect. Uh, but I, I do recall that he uh, did mention uh, Koi Thun. He said that uh, Koi Thun uh, had betrayed uh, the party, but I did not know the detail, actually. At uh, uh, that time, he just made mention that, and I simply thought I, uh, I followed. I did not know the um, uh, the background uh, story of the betrayal by uh, Koi Thun. So that, that was the one uh, he mentioned uh, at the time, uh, to my recollection. Did he tell you that as you were sitting in this meeting, Koi Thun was under arrest and being tortured and interrogated at S21? As usual, uh, the arrest was not made known. They never told uh, anybody of the arrest. They only said that uh, one of our member had uh, betrayed us. Uh, that, that was it. All right, I want to now cover um, you indicated that one of the instructions at this meeting was that there were traitors in the zone you were going to. You indicated that you were told they had fled to the forest and you needed to find them. Um, in your interview, E3-5786, E3 slash 5786, uh, answer one. You gave the following testimony uh, about uh, one of the north or one of the cadres at the rubber plantation zone uh, after you arrived. I quote At the beginning, before that woman became my deputy, the deputy was a man who was from Prekak in the central zone. However, after he had worked with me for about one month, he was removed by Kai Pak, who said that man had been implicated by others and had an affair with a woman in Prekak. End of quote. My first question did. Kai Pak tell you who it was who had implicated this deputy at the zone rubber plantation. Response. No, he did not. 
At that time, the decision was all up to him alone. He had the decision and he would uh, give the order to me uh, to uh, implement. But uh, I did not implement uh, that order uh, because I was at that time uh, being engaged in uh, getting the rubber latex uh, and I could not do it uh, des desperately latex. without knowing uh, the rationale. Et je ne pouvais pas exécuter cette décision sans en connaître la motivation. But uh, once uh, anybody, uh, the messenger came to uh, take uh, the order, or I would uh, forward uh, the message to for uh, with him. I uh, would uh, resist against his order as well uh, sometime. Parfois, je contestais les ordres. And we had some uh, young uh, people who, are, who jeunes, have certain ability to come and uh, work uh, with him in his office, but uh, generally uh, they could not stay with him bureau, for a long time. Uh, he would remove them one lui. after another, il and I uh, questioned uh, him as well why people could not stay with Alors him, and he told me that well, those people uh, had betrayed uh, the party, so uh, party. they had to be removed. Donc, and I told him enlever. that well, if you did not have any Alors, clear reason répondu, for removal, uh, you si would simply listen to others or of the implication clair, uh, by others, uh, that would not be enlever. good. At that time, he uh, also came to me uh, for other uh, forces. Um, but generally, uh, he did not understand what was happening uh, on the ground. Uh, that's why uh, whenever I send people to work with him, uh, he would remove uh, them uh, most of the time. But I uh, ran out of uh, people to send to him because, after all, they could not work uh, with him. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, at this time I'd like to provide to the witness document E3-2956, E3-2956. It is a prisoner list from S21 uh, that records the list of a list of persons from the Old North or Central Zone who were arrested between in February and March 1977, including a number of people from the rubber plantation. Provenant de la plantation des VA. The president. president, Mr. Victor Copé, you may proceed. Maître Copé, vous avez la parole. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Copé, uh, Mr. president uh, while agreeing that technically the question uh, si certes, falls within the scope of uh, the second trial because it relates to S21. Um, I think I should also reveal that I feel quite uncomfortable with uh, this line of questioning because I am simply not uh, at this stage having enough de um, cette série de questions parce que, que à ce stade, to to. je comprends encore maintenant um, veut en venir l'accusation. Well, technically, um, Ainsi, all parties in this courtroom plan, should uh, know toutes les parties um, dans le prétoire, what has uh, transpired in the North Zone, what has happened with regard to purges, etc. Um, I think it's the first time in this courtroom, the second trial, that I really don't know where the prosecution is going to and what is this uh, line of questioning leading to. Um, all of a sudden, we're dealing with uh, purges in the North Zone, um, Central Zone, S21. Uh, we are unprepared for this. And, um, like, like, like I said again, it is within the scope technically that is true, uh, but we are unprepared to understand really what's going on. Uh, I honestly do not know. <laughs> I'm not sure how to respond to that. Um, we take this as an observation. Considérons que c'est une observation. May I provide this document to the witness, Mr. President? Accusation. Puis-je transmettre ce document au témoin, Monsieur le Président? President, you may proceed. President, allez-y. Fine, and I object. I object to this line of questioning. I mean, 
the observation we're not Soit usually in the habit of saying that we don't know what's going on in this trial. On this time, uh, uh, I feel quite um, uncomfortable with what is Là, happening right now, so I object to this line of question. It is not technically outside the scope, but it is outside of, of the agreement that we all have that we are dealing here with Kran Kachan and Kran Kok, and that uh, once we deal with S21, we deal with S21. And, uh, and, and the purges in the North Zone, and all of a sudden, on a Wednesday afternoon, we're talking about something uh, that we are ill prepared for. So I object. If I may respond, if counsel is not prepared, that is his fault. This witness testified about this in his original interviews. This was, has been part of the charges of the indictment since it was issued in 2010. If he doesn't understand where I am going, that's his problem. I think it's absolutely clear this has been part of the case. It's part of the case we're trying. We have a witness here who has direct relevant information. And if he's not prepared, that's not your problem, it's not my problem, it's only his own problem. It's my client's problem to, to begin with as well. Uh, I remember we had a whole discussion about which documents we should be putting on the interface uh, so that the other parties are well prepared. Uh, documents that everybody knew, there was documents that were about uh, the facts that we were discussing. And for the first time, we are saying that we do not know uh, at this stage where the prosecution is going, we get this answer. So I, 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 I strongly object to uh, what's going on here right now. J'objecte à ce qui est en train de se dérouler maintenant. The President, the objection by the Defence Council for Nuntir is not uh, sustained. The Chamber has made it clear uh, that the parties can put the questions to the witness within the scope of K02-02. And the questions that has been uh, put by the uh, prosecutor uh, to the witness are uh, indeed uh, relevant to K02-02. So the prosecutor may proceed and the uh, witness is instructed to respond to the question put by the prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, uh, in this list I've just provided to you, um, uh, I want to refer you, if you can, to numbers 29 through 37 on the list. Numbers 29 through 37. Um, there are a total of 84 central or Old North Zone cadres who are identified on this list as ha having been arrested between, between mid-February and the end of March 1977. Uh, numbers 29 through 37 are nine cadres from the zone rubber plantation uh, who were arrested mostly in mid-March 1977, uh, about one month after you say you arrived uh, at the uh, Central Zone rubber plantation. Um, one of them, number 29, uh, Sam Sarom alias Man, is identified as being the chief of the Prekkak rubber plantation. Um, my first question is, looking at this list of nine people, uh, can you tell us, is one of these people the deputy um, from Prek Kok, uh, who you described uh, was arrested on the instructions of Kai Park? I would like to 
um, clarify that I uh, do not recall the number. Uh, at the time during the revolutionary period, uh, they only used their alias. And uh, since here there was a full name, I do not recall. But there was actually one person from Precoq. Tapok uh, took him away. One of them were taken away. If, if you look uh, at this list, you'll see that in addition to their full names, the revolutionary aliases are there also. Can you look at those aliases, uh, and in particular the person who is identified as being from Prekok, and tell me whether you remember any of these people and whether you can identify the person, the deputy who was arrested. I'm afraid I am not sure. Because they were new uh, comers, and when they uh, came here, I do not uh, recognize them. I could not uh, answer these uh, questions without a uh, precise answer. Let me ask you this, Mr. Mr. Witness. Does seeing the names of these people refresh your recollection that, in fact, there were um, a lot more than just one Cadre from the Zone Rubber Plantation who was arrested after you arrived there. The President, uh, witness, uh, please uh, repeat your answer because you answered before uh, the microphone was activated. At that time, Brother Pok sent the forces to take uh, him away. The first time uh, they came, uh, they took away the deputy, and then the second time they took other uh, peoples, but I do not recall uh, the names, and I looked through this list, I did not know who was who, and I did not, uh, I do not recall uh, who was taken away at that time. At that time, I was also assigned with the new task, too, and I did not know uh, these, these people by their names. So I could not uh, simply guess in my answer. Fair enough, um, Mr. Witness. Uh, Mr. President, um, one uh, more document I would like to provide. This is another uh, S-21 list of uh, people from the North Zone. Uh, it is document E3-3861, E3-3861. Uh, this is a list of prisoners from the North Zone who were smashed on the 8th of July, 1977. It lists uh, 173 prisoners from the central Old North Zone who were killed at S-21 that day, uh, including uh, a number of cadres from the zone rubber plantation. Uh, again, I'd like to present this to the witness and see if he recognizes any of the names. The President, you may proceed. In this list, um, uh, Mr. Witness, the, the numbers, the prisoner numbers I want you to refer to are numbers 53 through 59 and numbers 140 and 141 on the list. To repeat, numbers 53 to 59 and numbers 140 to 141. And I believe in the, mi the middle column uh, you will find uh, the aliases um, of these people. Um, are you able to 
uh, find those numbers and can you look at those names and tell me uh, whether you remember any of the zone rubber plantation cadres whose names appear in this list. De personnes de la plantation DVA dont le nom apparaîtrait dans cette liste. When I first arrived, uh, there was no deputy at that time. Uh, they had all gone. They had uh, been taken away, and I did not know uh, their names either. And one, one last um, subject uh, that I will quickly finish on. Um, in your testimony relating to your a time in the central zone, um, you identified a cadre named Cham uh, in interview E127 slash 7.1.3 at answer 9. You identified Cham as Kai Pok's right hand man who worked at the zone office. And in interview E319.1.18 at answer 205. You testified Cham was the office chairman of the central zone of Kai Pak. He was in charge of security work. My question for you is, uh, do you know if this Cham was the same Cham, uh, was the person who Kai Pak had assigned to supervise the construction of the 1st January dam. Do you know if it was the same person? I don't remember. Cham, actually not uh, Cham, but Cham. Cham uh, he was the right hand man Il of uh, Kai Pok and he was sent uh, to be in charge of the construction of 1st January Dam. To my uh, recollection, uh, his name was Cham. Uh, he, uh, whenever they uh, convened the meeting, uh, we went to uh, the office of uh, Cham. Actually, he uh, came from Kompung Cham. Whenever he visited our place, uh, people would call me uh, to meet with him, and he was the one who was in charge of the construction of uh, the first January dam. Thank, thank you very much for answering my questions today, Mr. Witness. Um, Mr. President, I have no further questions. The President. Thank you. The hearing today has come to an, an end. The court would adjourn now and resume tomorrow, on Thursday, the 23rd of April, starting from 9 a.m. in the morning. Uh, tomorrow, uh, the chamber would resume examining the uh, 
testimony of Nous Mr. Pichim. We uh, would like to Monsieur thank Pichem. Mr. Pichim uh, for uh, answering Monsieur all Pichem the questions put by the parties. I wish to um, inform you that uh, your uh, testimony has not been uh, concluded, so we uh, would like to invite you to come uh, to provide testimony again. I would like to uh, ask the duty council uh, to accompany the witness uh, tomorrow. And uh, other uh, official, please uh, bring the uh, witness uh, to the courtroom before 9 uh, a.m. And court officer, please uh, coordinate the uh, transport of Mr. Pichim and have him back in this courtroom before uh, 9 a.m. Security guards are instructed to bring uh, Mr. Nguyen and uh, Kyu Sampon back to the detention facility and have them back into this uh, courtroom before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.